We are back again here in the Hunter Classic and participating in yet another event. This time the Easter event, which has two different parts. There's the community side, which requires you to take 30 of the full turkeys. If you do that, you'll get 250 EM and a tree stand. That we've already done, but the actual Easter missions have good rewards as well. You get, of course, the Easter mission trophy, 3000 GM, and a happy camper tent, which everybody in the Hunter Classic wants to have more tents. So we're here on Bush Rangers Run for the first two of many objectives. We need a male European rabbit and a female kangaroo weighing over 30 kilo. And hopefully that's not going to be too hard. We have our pointer here to help us with the rabbits. And I think we'll try to do that first. And I want to say already, he must be onto the scent of some rabbits. One way you can tell is they'll actually walk in front of you and kind of mirror your direction. So when we go turn it over here and he doesn't do it, that means he's onto him and he's pointing one out. They may have spooked since we're walking, but if there's burrows right here, I mean, we'll be able to get one even if we got to set up and wait for them to come back. I wonder where they're at. That's what we need right there. So we were able to follow the tracks back to the set of burrows, and we've been laying here for maybe five minutes, kind of letting things calm down. So as long as we can make a headshot there, that should do the trick. Now, if we don't get the headshot, he could go back in the burrows, which is kind of what I'm worried about. That shot hit just a little high. Well, there's no mistake in that. That's the same one. And clearly a follow-up shot is going to be needed. So we kind of know that at that range, we're going to want to aim just a little bit low. Now, I think even like a subpar hit will get him this time. Let's put this just below the head. That hit him in the ear again. Hopefully that's going to get him. If not, maybe that will. He's still not dead in there. He did die though. So at least that's going to get that down. And we can get on to the kangaroo, which I do think could be a little bit challenging. There is a regular kangaroo mission that requires, I think, a 35 kilo female to be taken specifically with the 30 odd six. And once or twice, I have gotten one with that weight. We hit him three times. 10 minute wound time just to get him down. But it has always ended up being with the wrong gun. But my point is, it can be fairly difficult to get him in that weight range. So hopefully we can get lucky and find a big one fairly quickly. But at least the rabbit's out of the way, though in a less than ideal fashion. So the challenge really will be kind of twofold. Number one, we're going to want to spot everything and make sure we don't just have a guaranteed estimate. 30 plus kg as the minimum would be all we need. All of these are 20 or 25 though. So then it becomes, can we spot one that looks physically larger than the rest? And to me, they all look about the same. So we'll just pick one of the 25s. I mean, maybe that one's a touch bigger. So I guess we'll go with that. I have the 6.5 pretty much just for the sound. But I think that's the one that we wanted. As it's kind of turning there. Try to get that shot in there. That's going to bring it down. And I mean, we could try to get more as they flee. But odds are we're just going to waste ammo. So hopefully that one ends up above 30 and we can just move on. But that's more or less what it's going to come down to. Because you don't get a lot of estimates that are that high. I say that. I did just go and check my skills. I'm only level 9 spotting. So if you're a higher level spotting for Red Kangaroo, it's probably no big deal. But at a lower spotting level, there's just not a ton we can glean from the estimate itself. So fingers crossed here. Looks like an intestine shot. It is 30.4 kilos. So simple as that. That actually took less time than the rabbit, unbelievably. So we can move on to our next objective. And for that, we have to come here to the mountains of Timbergold Trails. We need to find a male dark fur type bighorn sheep, which is just an uncommon fur. So that shouldn't be too bad. And while we're at it, we also need to take any puma. But while we're here, there are a number of other objectives in these missions, and over the weekend, I spent a little bit of time trying to complete those. The idea actually came from Kyla as she was trying to complete the missions. She wanted to use my Hemeldahl map to try to get a 500 plus reindeer. So as we were hunting around for that, I stumbled into a moose that looked to be big enough for the mission we needed one that scored over 140. And as we continue to get cable back kills, we can drop him in his tracks and get that guy out of the way. Kyla in that hunt was able to get her 500 reindeer, but I had no luck doing that. So the next morning, I was sitting in a tower making a thumbnail, and within like five minutes, I got a call from a reindeer. I just figured it would be probably like a 300 bull or something like that. And I was shocked to see his frame as he was coming in, but the estimate had me a little bit concerned that maybe he wouldn't actually go over 500. 
The small shovels, the estimate only going up to 550, I could just see it being like 498. Luckily, the cable back bow does the job again, and he actually ends up being 549. If he had better shovels, that could have been a really cool one, because that frame is fantastic, but a really nice reindeer to get that objective off the list. And honestly, I think maybe the most difficult one in the entire list of objectives for this mission is out of the way just from trying to make a thumbnail and sitting in one spot. I will admit, I would have thought we'd find the Dark Fur Type Bighorn first. That's a fairly small male puma, but that should get the job done. Actually, we should range that because I think he's beyond 200. So we may need to aim a little high. He's actually 260 out. Now the 7x64 is pretty flat shooting, but we'll still probably put this right at the top of his back. As long as he'll just stay there, and of course he's going to start moving. Let's see if we can kind of drop this in. That'll do. So at least that's out of the way. And we actually sent a herd of bighorn running. So, first question is, like, that's what we need, but it has to be a male. So, is there even a ram in there? Oh, there is, and it's dark fur type. All right, that might be a pain to actually find, because they're going to go out of render before we could potentially get a shot. But, we're going up there anyway. We got to probably be careful about marking this, because we could lose the puma. And also, that you stopped right behind the puma so i don't know what the herd will do i think we'll actually go across the rest of this railroad bridge and go up the hill and hopefully he's just somewhere down in here but at least we have the animals we need to get just gonna be a matter of can we locate him and get a shot this could not have worked out any better our dark male bighorn is standing right there i'd like a prone rest i don't think we're gonna get one so we'll probably kind of crouch forward as we go for the shot to get a little bit of stabilization. But that's going to drop him, and that's going to knock out both of these objectives. Now, I will admit, the Puma one was actually done. I was going to bring in a clip like I did with the Reindeer and Moose, and talk about having done that in the past. But when he was standing there, I figured, why not go for it? The one I got for the objective was a female, so this one's a little bit cooler anyway. But I also like to actually take stuff like this out you know, in the moment, because I think these videos to begin with already kind of make it look like it's really simple. Like, for instance, we're two hours and 15 minutes into this, and I don't know, we've killed like five things. It's not moving nearly as fast as the video would make it appear to, but because he was here, that kind of helps to just, I think, bring everything into perspective. We hard shot that thing at 270 meters with a 7x64, not bad, 145 CSS and a 15 score for him. And then our Bighorn, which we don't actually have that objective done, is just over here. And in the most bizarre way, we actually got, or would have gotten, both of the Timbergold objectives done faster than I think we even just got the European Rabbit over on Bush Rangers Run. Dark Fur Type and a 147 score. And that's going to send us to Hirschfeld. We need a 180 kilo wild boar. So I filled a boar feeder and hopefully that'll help us out. Well, that's not a good sign. There is nothing at this feeder, and it is filled and active, so I don't know what's going on there, but I guess we better start roaming around the fields, because for whatever reason, our feeder's not doing us any good by the looks of it. That is the best estimate I've seen this entire time, and it really doesn't give us a great shot. 160 to 190 kilo, and we've been tracking this guy for a while. The track estimate was up to like 220. So, kind of disappointing to see the spotting estimate, but let's just go ahead and try to get him down. I don't know where that shot actually hit, but make sure he's gonna go down, or at least, hopefully. I mean, somehow, that was intestine, so it's gonna get him. Just, I don't know, 10 kilo of room above the 180 requirement we need in that estimate? That's not a ton, but hopefully it's enough, because... This has been a lengthy process. Oh, he actually went down right there as well, so I guess we will find out. He is 183.5 kilo. We actually hit him twice, that explains why he went down that fast. I'm so glad that went over because we've seen almost none that have gone over the estimate. But as you can see, we have, in fact, completed the mission. Now, there was one more objective that I didn't actually record. It was to shoot, like, a, I think, any hen turkey. In the process of trying to shoot the fool's turkeys, we ended up getting that, and I didn't even think to record it, but it's just a hen turkey, not that that would have been difficult to get at all. Now, 
getting those false turkeys were a part of the Easter event, and I'm glad they were because I wanted to get a 60 plus for each of the variations. In the first video that we hunted them, we got a gangsta and a candy variation over 60. The other two were much more challenging though. Just a couple of days ago, in trying to get the 30 to get the community events, I had two come in, and it turned out they'd both be really good size. I already had a decent sized russet, so I shot the camo, and I didn't even think that one was going to make 60 plus. And then I realized that that russet was there, I thought it was a common, and made some of the worst shots that I've ever made, I don't know, I missed it with the crossbow pistol, just thought, what the heck, I'm done anyway, I'm gonna get it with the cable back, missed that shot, missed it with the 22 a bunch of times, but luckily, we did get it, and it turned out, both actually went 60+. plus. The camo would end up scoring 63, and the russet would end up scoring 62, so that actually, now that we've gotten the Easter mission out of the way, is what I want to visit in the trophy lodge. And just for the sake of it, I decided to put both of the new ones in here. I really wanted a 60 plus camo because I just think they look cool. I wanted one in this event animals lodge. With that estimate, I thought he was going to be like a 59. So he must have had really solid spurs and beard because his weight was not good to be 63. The russets I actually think look really cool. So I thought we'd put that there too. 62.6. And by the way, just to put everything into perspective, now that we're done with the event, got the missions done, and earned the community rewards by shooting 30 of the full turkeys, this particular recording is 3 hours and 22 minutes, and that's not counting all the time put into Hemeldahl and Timbergold Trails to try to get those objectives done, and Timbergold of course was completely pointless because we killed the Puma and Dark Bighorn right beside each other, but still. I'm really happy to have these turkeys in here, can't wait to have another tent, maybe we'll put it on Hirschfelden for some boar locations because my goodness that was terrible, but pretty good deal, and I really like that Classic has been doing these events that have, you know, fantastic rewards, something to really incentivize people to go out and hunt for these things that maybe aren't hunted for as much as other animals in the game, but anyway, on that note, that is going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.